Welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. My name is Tobol. Let's go grab ourselves a military truck. Hooray, the truck is still here, and I believe, yep, there it goes. It's going to start right up. So we're going to take the truck home, and I'm going to try to remember to avoid the giant minefield and a bunch of the turrets and the rocks and stuff. But what we're going to try to do over this episode and the next couple of episodes is try to move most of our, uh, I guess, our, our, our vehicle, our mobile base. I want to set this up inside of the cargo truck if we can. Now, we do, I want to add another row on the back of this truck. So, to do that, I'm going to smash into a tree. Whoops. Um, <laughs> to do that, I'm going to have to find probably another military vehicle because I don't really want to have to get the um, whatever we would need here. Like, if I'm looking at the vehicle, to, to add on, what is this? This is heavy-duty frame. A heavy-duty frame would need a crap ton of steel to make from scratch. There's no reason we should make this from scratch, though, when there's tons of other vehicles out there. So what I'll try to do is find another military vehicle. Now, I know there is one way far to the northeast by that mansion we raided a couple of episodes ago. The, the only problem is I don't have a way to get there without abandoning said vehicle. So what I'll have to do is maybe um, go out and find a disposable vehicle in Pulteney, and then go take a bit of a trip up north. So that way we can bring that vehicle back. Or if we find something in Pulteney. I really haven't been looking too hard in Pulteney to see what's there. So we're going to bring our truck in. Lovely. Let's let go of the controls. Uh, we made it here pretty easily. We've got 9% diesel, 25% battery left. Wunderbar. This thing is ready to go. I'd love to try to mess around and switch out things like the, the engine. Like put in an electric engine try to put in some solar panels on the vehicle. In fact, real quick, uh, let's see, solar panel. We've got solar cells, solar panels. Can I move all these things? Let's do this instead. We're going to shift some things around a bit. And there we go. Oops. Uh, let's get the whole stack of solar cells in case we need to make another solar panel. And what I'd like to do is get my welder out. Let's see, get the welder from wherever the welder is. This is our special welder, right? there. No, that's the UPS welder. My, where's my normal welder at? Oh, I actually haven't emptied all my stuff out from our trip yet. Okay, fair enough. Let me do this real quick and get organized, and I'll be right back. Do you know what we seem to be missing? I can't find our giant folded jack. And I wonder if I accidentally put that in a spot that might have overflowed onto the floor tile of the RV. But I can't find that thing to save my life anywhere. Um, right now I'm looking for my toolbox, though, in my... Where the heck is my welder? There it is at the bottom. So we still have a crap ton of charge in that. But yeah, I, I feel like it was here, right? We wouldn't have... We would only have used it to go back and forth. I think I did take it with us, though, because we were trying to find uh, some swappable batteries, which I think we got. But still, I'm, I'm really curious about where that went to. So what I was uh, looking at was, can we install some solar panels on the side? So let's just go here. Sure enough, we actually can just randomly throw a solar panel onto the vehicle. Hooray, solar panel. So that's step one. Uh, step number two, do we have an engine? I thought we had an engine somewhere. Might be in this t pile to the southwest or southeast of me. Huh. Let me search for everything around me. Search for engine. I could have sworn we had an engine somewhere. I guess not. I thought we had an electric engine at some point in uh, in the gameplay. Um, so what I'll do then is look for a an electric engine while we're out. It would be called an engine, right? Or it would be called motor. Shoot. Maybe I should search for electric instead. Oh, large electric motor. Hey, look at that. If I would figure things out, I'd be in much better shape. So, here is the large electric motor. And I'm going to drag that over. And let's see if we can just install it, number one. We'll put it right in the center here. If we can. No, we can install solar panel. Large electric motor. Right. Oh, we need mechanics of eight for extra engines. I mean, that makes sense, right? You're trying to tie together multiple engine systems. That's kind of cool. Let's remove the old V8 diesel. And then we might be able to... Crap, tool of lifting 25, remove the alternator. So we have to get our lifting up. So we need to build a new vehicle. Let's get another folded crane. We don't have any folded cranes, I don't think. 
uh, what am I thinking? I'm thinking of um, frame, sorry. Power armor hauling frame. If we we're ever going to be able to use that, that would be amazing. Let's try to craft ourselves a, uh, what would you call that? That would be a foldable frame. So a light wooden frame, a foldable wooden, foldable light duty, or light flame. You know, we have uh, four pipes of two. We're going to need a some pipes, and there are some pipes inside of this, or uh, made from this locker here. So let's go ahead and deconstruct this item. To the north here, and to the northwest here. And we'll take all this back to the house. There's also a spare, uh, whatchamacallit that there. There was a spare hammer, in case we ever wanted more hammers. Why not? Right, so can we now make... Can we now make, can Sarah make rather, can she make this frame? Foldable light frame, got it. Use the welder, make the frame, hooray, hooray. So let's go ahead and start uh, the construction of a vehicle here somewhere. Actually, let's start it outside just to be safe. I had a weird thing recently in one of my playthroughs where I was mucking around and one of my vehicles completely disappeared through a wall and it was in this playthrough, in this, in this world. So I'm hoping that our build that we're on isn't somehow super mega bummed. Uh, did I say bummed or bugged? I think I said bummed. Nice. So we need our, uh, to get ourselves a crane. So there are two types of crane. Internal boom crane and a telescopic cantilever. cantilever. So yeah, the second one here the telescopic crane will give us a lifting quality of 7. That's all we need. We don't need a 40. So Telescopic crane, survivor telescope. Ooh, that might be kind of cool. Let's go over onto our pile here. I'm assuming it's something that's in a book. There we go. Telescopic cantilever. That's going to require eight wires. So how many wires do we have? Actually, I keep forgetting to do this. If we look at it like in the menu like this, we can also go to related and see all of the items that will be inside of this uh, design. So I can then make however many wires we need, which it looks like we need eight wires. So we can go eight wires six we only can only make six right now probably because we're going to run out of charge i bet not necessarily that we're going to be out of materials so we'll wait for this to finish it is going to take quite a long time oh our forge is what's actually out of power okay fair enough let's drop off the wire and find that forge isn't the forge i think the forge is running on the special battery the, the forge runs on battery by itself it already is using the large battery charge yeah so we just have to give it a new battery there we go so let's go back to wire make two more of those if i could hit the right button batch two and then after that we should be able to make our crane put that on top of our foldable frame and then we got ourselves a lovely new telescopic crane to do great things with so telescopic tele telescopic cantilever this will take us one hour. We're still in good shape in terms of our hunger and our and our drink. Kind of surprising, honestly. I think I finally got the right balance, though. Because I had... Remember, I had a lot of trouble eating and keeping my, my character balanced in terms of our hunger level. And it finally seems like it's all get, coming together. Right. There's the telescopic crane all set. So now I should be able to bring this over. Uh, look at the vehicle and remove... I gotta go to my center console. Remove the alternator first. And then remove the battery. Sorry, the engine? Yep. Okay, so let's try to install the electric motor and see what happens. So that just went straight in. Cool. Uh, let's try to repair said motor because it's in pretty rough shape. We don't have our glare protection. So let's go back inside and get some of that. One day I will stop trying to type Google, but apparently today is not that day. So let's do some repairs. We're going to repair the dashboard. I can't do that yet. Uh, controls is fine. Let's repair the seatbelt, maybe. Nope, we need more glue for that. Repair the seat. Repair the vehicle tank. I'm not even looking at the right thing anyways, but that's fine. It's like we have infinite fuel anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Perfect. So, we can't repair this because our mechanic skill is not high enough, and we're out of charges, I think, any hoots. But, the electric motor is working. Right. So, if we... It is full of diesel, but it doesn't really need diesel anymore. Oh, you know what? I still need to put the alternator back on, right? Isn't that still going to convert some of the vehicle energy or no? I don't... <laughs> okay, I'm not really a parts person, so I don't honestly know. Um, okay, so we are, we're not going to do anything with a... 
converter or a alternator. Right, so let's try to start this up. It is fast enough to go, which is pretty cool. Oh my god, it's <laughs> it's 11 uh 1100 percent per hour. 2 minutes until it's empty. Oh my gosh. Right. So if we wanted to make this thing electric, we're going to have to have a crap ton of electric motors and a crap ton of batteries in this thing. Which isn't to say it's impossible, right? Because I think you can just chain a bunch of batteries together. You just need a ton of storage and then also a way to kind of keep that charged up. I don't know what other what kind of options we're going to have. We may just have to go down the route of hello, what, what are you over here? Oh, you're just a random pair of shorts. Fair enough. So we might have to go the route of, of hooking up a gas engine to this instead of an electric. But either way, it was cool to learn that we could even try it out. <laughs> even if we wasted 10% of the battery backing up one foot. Right, well, I love learning lessons in this game. It's always fun. So what's next? Another project that I was thinking about, and this is kind of a, a minor thing, but I was just curious. I've been talking to some people about my concern that if I punch a hole in the wall... And say I put this vehicle, this solar panel, right here. We, we rebuild it in a 3x3 three three or 2x3 three grid right there. I want to put a hole through the wall, put a frame there that will plug the gap and make sure that temperature doesn't change, and then put the refrigerators right here. That way I don't have to keep constantly you know, pulling a battery from here, moving it to there. We can just have everything in one nice contraption. So I think, if you think about what a vehicle frame does, right... You've got the uh, the base frame here, and I think the quarter panel is what does it. The quarter panel prevents anything, any air from going through, because if you're inside of a vehicle, remember, it can be cold outside, but we can stay comfortable and completely comfortable inside the RV. Also, we can't go through the frame. So I believe if we put a quarter panel and a roof together on a frame and just we're basically going to punch out the a hole in the wall, we should be able to tie together the solar panels outside to the refrigerator inside. So that was just something I'm thinking about for whatever particular reason that just came to my mind and more of a fun side project than anything else. Uh, let's tear down the metal butchery rack. And I think we have to disassemble this thing in front of me here. I wish there was a way to like go to the top of the menu. I'm trying to do like home or page up and that doesn't work. Right. Let's move everything over here. And what I think I'm going to do is disassemble some of the solar panel system. I'm also going to punch a hole through the wall. Hopefully not bringing the entire wall down on our face. Although I guess we could just take down our construction here and put the two refrigerators right there instead. Maybe that's what we'll do. All right, I'm going to go work on that for a bit because it sounds like a fun side project and you don't have to stick around to watch all that craziness. We'll come back after it's all completed. Welcome back from that little bit of a break. We are finally done and it actually looked exactly like I was hoping for. We wind up ha we wound up rather having our solar panels outside. I put a, it wasn't the quarter panel, it's actually the board is what you want. The board is the metal wall, which prevents anything from seeing through it. So I think that basically sealed the gap in our house wall. So this is all one unit. You can see in, in the vehicle description, it's got a solar panel outside. Here's that connecting frame. And then there's the refrigerator inside with our electronics unit. So that's super exciting. I'm, I'm beyond pleased that that is even a thing right now. I'm going to grab my box and recharging... Oh, I can't because they're... I can't drag them. I have to do it like this. Okay. I'm going to install if I can. There might be too much stuff here. Let's try to install the box. And finally, the recharging station. There we go. And now pretty much everything I wanted is all in one adorable spot. Our food is right here. I don't know which one's the freezer versus the refrigerator. Okay, mini fridges first. Mini freezers in the corner. Got it. But that's exciting. I'm really happy that worked out. Uh, we've got ourselves a wonderful setup. This should constantly get charged, pretty much. It's going to take one day until it's full. Um, is it actually running right now or no? I don't think it's actually running. So it's doing a pure charge, but 3.1% per hour from a completely dead battery, that's fine. And I really, I could put another storage battery on here. I just don't know if we even need to at this point. I think it's going to do fine on its own. Um, I was thinking about moving some other stuff around. Namely, maybe putting a table or two. Do we want to move this uh, stove? And by the way, I don't think I really needed to use the wood stove, did I? I could have just used the big stove and been happy with life. I always get those mixed up on which ones exactly I need. I think, though, I, I guess we don't really have to have... Well, we would want to have the fireplace next to us. 
because we want to be able to put that fuel source into the fire. Although, we could just wind up trying to make a... I don't know, is there an electric lamp? What kind of lamps do we have? Headlamp, lamp oil, survivor headlamp, lamp oil cooker. What about just a light source? Well, like we were talking, well, I guess we've got our, we, you know, we've got our light now with the aisle light, which we could try to do, right? So we could turn back around and get that aisle light turned on. Uh, pilot light, battery light mod. I feel like a floodlight would probably use a crap ton of power. It would be nice to have. We could install a headlight onto the front of this and just point it in our direction. And what I'm talking about is that, we number one, we need a light source to craft, right? That's going to be a requirement. Number two, we need a way to cook food. But I think for a lot of foods, don't we just need some sort of heat, right? We don't necessarily need a fire. We just could use a hot plate. So as long as that hot plate has a charge, we should be fine. We could even install a little kitchen unit, I think, and meet all the requirements. We could, we could take the kitchen unit from the RV and put it right in here and it would meet all the requirements for doing any kind of a cooking item, right? It's going to serve as a hot plate, as whatever else it might need. So maybe that's the better option as opposed to going with this giant stove and lighting a fire every five minutes. Actually, for science purposes, let's tell you what, let's do this. Let's pull all this over. Let's go in here and see if we can't pull out the kitchen unit. And can we just pick this up or do we drag it? Okay, we can drag it like this. So can we just put this bad boy right on the edge of our unit? Let's see. We need to do. We need to install a frame, right? Or no? Why can't I install? Your morale is too low. Okay, fine. We're a little bit grumpy because I just walked her through a bunch of rain. She's very thirsty. So let me get some water. Um, is there a certain thing we can use that starts with the V? Avert your eyes, my friends. We're going downtown. Oh, there's no charge in it. We feel much better. Wonderful. How's our morale? Um, what is the morale button? Good feeling. It didn't quite counteract the fact that we're soaking wet, but whatever works. Uh, so when can we actually do this construction? Install. Now we can do it. Right. So we're going to need another frame. I might have left one outside or no. I think we're completely out on frames. So do we have enough to build said new... Or I guess we could pilfer one from the RV if we're going to be converting the... Um, the big truck to our new home. Well, is this the day where we start to pull apart our RV? Farewell, RV. You've treated us well. <laughs> We've treated us with honor, but we're going to like cra uh, deconstruct the crap out of you. Right. So, over here, press E. Uh, let's do I. We went outside for like a split second and got soaking wet. Alright, I'll be back here in just a minute. There we go. I love this game sometimes. We've got ourselves a uh, complete fridge. Now, I don't know if does it auto, do we have to turn it on or is it always on? The fridge and freezer have to be turned on. Uh, the recharger has to be turned on. Right. So how are these pulling? They're actually not even pulling too much energy. That's great. I think I might put in another swappable battery or two just to have a really large charge. In fact, it would be really cool if we could do some testing to find out, is there any light source that we could run all night long without completely draining the battery, then it would recharge during the day. So we can basically have a permanent indoor light if we wanted. So I might do some testing. Although, as far as other light sources go, aisle lights might be the smallest one. Floodlight, headlight. Yeah, I really do think that the aisle light is going to be kind of the smallest light we could use. If we turn this on... How long would it take to go out? Wow, really? We're still having a charge. Even with all of the lights on, pretty much. Let's turn off the headlamp, see how far this goes. Sadly, it doesn't quite reach us, which is a bit of a bummer. So we would have to extend this one frame out a bit. Uh, is there any way to get around that? <laughs> Honestly, a headlamp would do it. <laughs> uh, what other kind of lights could we use? I don't think we can check this anymore. Floodlight we could try. And the floodlight we looked at would use... It needs one more amplified circuit. Can we make... Actually, let's do this. Let's go down to floodlight, press L. Can we make the amplify amplifier circuit? We can. Let's make one of those. 
floodlight needs four light bulbs or one light strip. I don't know if we can make light bulbs. Can we? Yeah, not so much. Chunk of steel. Light strip. Four light bulb. We we need we have one light bulb. We need four. Where would we be able to pull these out from? Could we disassemble a headlamp? So let's search for lamp. Nothing really. There's our there's our one light bulb, right? Uh, we've got solar panels. We've got nothing else that's going to actually be considered a lamp. I don't. I believe. And we had nothing for lamp itself. Let me go see what else this is in. Aha, you know what we've been having a bunch of? We've been ha grabbing a bunch of flashlights. Let's try to get these flashlights out onto the floor. So flashlight, flashlight, heavy duty. Oh, we have a crap ton of these. All right, let's disassemble all of these flashlights if we can. Uh, you can't see the crap. Turn on my headlight. Headlamp. Cool. So, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff here. So there's our five flashlights. Those would get us the light strips. So let's go ahead and disassemble this. Do we only need one light strip, or was it four? I think we need all four, right? Yeah, we need four. Okay, let me disassemble these. There we are. I think we have everything we need for the light. So, there we go. The light, the floodlight is now ready to go. It's going to take us 15 minutes to make that. And we're going to try to hook it up to our entire system and see how crazy this thing is going to be in terms of power drain. So, let's remove... Uh, wait, where did the... Um... Oh, I put the aisle lights in the wrong spot anyways. That's hilarious. I put the aisle lights too far down. Well, you know what? Just for science, let's put in the... Floodlight, if we can. There it goes, floodlight. And what does it do? Let me turn off my headlamp. It is it is facing me, so I'm assuming it might work when we hit it on. Alright, so turn on overhead lights. Holy crap. <laughs> That's amazing. That's going to drain the crap out of our battery. Okay, at least it was something that we tried out and we learned from it, right? Okay, cool. So let's remove said giant floodlight of death. Let's install the... Aisle lights. This should be much more subtle, right? E and aisle lights, and there we go. So we could craft from this chair. I, let's take a look at the food. Can we actually make stuff that would require charges? Yep, hot plate, six charges. So I think the hot plate gets used as needed, which is fantastic. Boy, we could even, if we really wanted to, do we, is there a filtration? Filter mask cartridge, no. Any kind of a water filter thing here? I was thinking about maybe hooking up some tanks on the outside of the building with funnels in them, but I think if we did this before, it turned our tank into dirty water. So we would have to have a way to filter it. Now, Foodco, the Foodco buddy thing, has a water purifier. Oh, maybe that's the phrase I need to search for. Let's search for water. Water purifier, eight heating elements of three. Can we make everything that the food code needs? I didn't even think about that. There were so many items, I just assumed that we couldn't do it. So food dehydrator, plastic chunks, we could make that. Food processor, micromotor, electronic scrap. Oh my gosh, we might be able to make all this stuff. If we disassemble a lot of the items we have just kind of lying around, we might actually be able to make a food co-buddy. 
Which then, at the end of the day, will eventually put that into our mobile base. But the Food Co. Buddy has a ton of stuff. Very, very cool. I'm going to let Sarah get some rest. And I'll go back to this tomorrow. In all my excitement, I think I forgot to check on the temperature lately. I've, I've been wanting to do that, and I keep forgetting. Let's get this food back in the refrigerator, by the way. I left all the food out, I believe. So, going to the south, looking to the west, resetting the filters. Alright, so I want to have... Let me move some stuff out. I've got a bunch of tiles here that just have a bunch of crap all over the place. So, all this, 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 this. Everything's going to spill over because there's literally just so much of it. Right, so what I'm going to do is bring a table here. Hello. What was the noise out here? Was this just the direction of my scraping? Okay, that just echoed, I think. So, what were we going to put here? Canned food, I think. Why am I going to do this? Because I can. Let's put down the metal rack. Oh, can we not make a metal rack? 12 pipes of 3. Fair enough. We'll just use the table. I guess I'll survive somehow. Okay, so that's where I'm going to put my canned food. Let's grab the food stack and come back down here. All right, let me get organized a bit. And what I'm going to do is try to make a stack of electronic items that we could disassemble and maybe get some raw scrap items from. Okay, so I've got everything roughly where I want things right now, and um, I just was going over something I wound up finding in a live stream earlier today. So, I came across the Zone Manager. This is from... Originally, I thought it was from only the base camp stuff. However, I was sitting here trying to organize all my stuff, and I'm like, wouldn't it be cool if I was able to use the Zone Manager to basically auto sort everything I owned and then I was like holy crap I might be able to actually do this you know it might be a little too late too little too late but so what I'm going to try to do is place down first so shift y gives me the zone manager right then I'm going to delete everything here let's let's just uh, remove it for fun so I can do a unsorted loot zone so place to drop unsorted loot this is a place to drop unsorted loot I think it can overlap with zoot zone with zoot zones, loot zones of different types. So I think we could do, say we start here in this corner, and we can cover up this entire area. Now it's only blinking though in certain tiles. I don't know what that's really telling me. I would think that's the actual line. Show hide all. Yeah, it's kind of blinking at me everywhere. So if I then add a sits add a zone for I don't know ammo, we're gonna say the ammo is going to go here. So in theory, let's save the changes. If we grab what is considered to be ammunition, let's just put ammunition on the ground here. Bunch of ammunition in a random spot. If I were to go over here and do the action for zone activities, which is shift O. Oh my God, this just blew my freaking mind. It worked. I'll be right back. Right, so I think my mind literally just melted out of my eardrums, but I've got a bunch of stuff in my inventory. Let's drop everything for fun, uh, if I could figure out how to drop everything. Okay, Shift-O. Oh my gosh, they actually move around and sort everything where it needs to be. That is absolutely insane. So if we wanted to get batteries, for example, um, what would batteries be considered to be? Let's go to the menu. What's underneath my feet? Spare parts. So we need a space for spare parts. I cannot believe I've missed this this entire time. My heart is literally aching right now with the knowledge of how much stuff I've wound up moving from point A to point B manually for so long. But this is awesome. This is so amazing. Ah, <sighs> Guys, <laughs> I don't even know how to deal with this right now. Uh, let's just mess around for fun. I don't want to ruin all my piles, but I kind of want to see this thing in action. So if we can we sort anywhere? If we start from our chair, will we just walk around? Yeah, sure enough, we will. That is absolutely brilliant. How amazing is this game sometimes? Holy crap. Right. Well, I think I might be over my fanboy stage for just a second if I can uh, regain control of my faculties. What a great episode. This is brilliant. This is like a ton of ideas in one. So 
putting your vehicle through a wall, learning about the auto sword system. I really thought that this was a feature only used when you have an NPC, but apparently not. As I mentioned, I was on a live stream earlier today, and we were able to get a complete... Um, oh, look, there's some stuff outside. I'm going to go sort it. We were able to get a, an NPC, and they were able to help us get our base up and running. I, I cannot even... I don't even know. My entire world is upside down right now. How exciting. Right. So, I've got a bunch of things... Um, yeah, I, I would love to, like I was mentioning before I get too distracted, I would love to get an NPC because we were able to get the camp started and then said NPC died trying to protect me. Very, very brave. Um, but yeah, where are we at nowadays? So we're good on, we're, we're actually not hungry for the first time in a thousand years. Uh, where did I put my water? <laughs> Side note, I don't really remember where I put the water, uh, the water at. Did I make a... The drink probably, the perishable drink is, did I put it inside the refrigerator? Tin can of clean water. That's probably going to be a pain in the butt. Well, we can just come over to this corner. If it gets sorted, we'll just come to the corner and drink, even though... Can we do something like... Let's do this. Let's go to the get items. Wield it. Let's go to information. Reassign the key um, for W. And then I shift W over here. Can I EW? Oh, it doesn't actually keep the key. Apparently. Yeah, I was kind of hoping it would keep the shortcut for it, but it doesn't seem like... There's another thing here that has uh, the W in front of it. So, it doesn't seem to keep whatever key assignment you've given it. Only when it, Probably only when it's in your inventory, I, I would assume. Yeah, it, so it's only when, you're in, uh, when something's in your inventory does a letter reassignment work. That's fine, we can just come down here and search. If it's on top, though, we'll just be able to do this and be fine. All right, well, we sit here <laughs> and bask in our, our, our own abilities. Let's see what we've got. I've really not looked for like five minutes and just sat and looked at what the things we can craft. Do we have the hand loaders thing? I don't think we have the hand loader thing. The gun owner's digest and the handgun digest. We need to get the... Uh, whatever the handy hand loader or, or something hand loader book is, that's going to let us learn pretty much every single ammunition we would ever need to make we could have that although it seems like reloaded 762 it almost seems like we can do that now as is so you know more power to us uh what else could we need to do or what could we do here we've got a bunch of food options which is pretty cool are we missing anything simple for other items just it's actually probably the food item itself right i do want to make sure we're not missing things like uh any of our actual items we would need to be crafting with, like the machine parts of it. We're just missing the raw ingredients. On that note, I did mention before I got crazy distracted by this um, organization system that I wanted to look up the food co. So we can make pretty much everything here. And what I was trying to mention earlier before I, I started exploding with excitement was that I probably should look at moving some items that we don't really need. So like a camera pro, for example, um, Things like a, gosh, now I don't even know. Probably the acetylene torches, right? We're no longer going to need the acetylene torches now that we have a permanent source of welding ability. So I'm going to go through my list, and I'm going to break down items that we can put into the raw components in order to see if we can't craft our um, electrical things that we were looking for. Right on. Sarah has disassembled a crap ton of random items I've got lying around. So, uh, we have extra things like electronic scrap now and things like that. So, I think I can do Shift-O again to reorganize all of my many, many tools. I hope. I hope I'm not blowing everything up. There we go. Uh, so, everything is where it needs to be. Oh, you know what's interesting? Hmm. I need to exclude a tile from my little thing here. So, I need to do unsorted, remove... Oh, I killed the entire thing. So let's add unsorted again. I think... It doesn't have to necessarily be all over the entire area. But what I, I don't want it to do is to pull my batteries out of the charger. So just for fun... Oops, I completely broke all of my changes anyways. I mean, at the end of the day, I suppose it doesn't really matter, but... 
I would have liked to have had those all together. But I did try to get my ultralight batteries. Why are they all red like this? Are they upset? Are they leaking? I tried to disassemble some of the batteries. Oh god, are these all like irradiated now? Am I about to die? You can't see to craft. What about butchery? You don't have the tools necessary to disassemble this. What about from here? Okay, interesting. Let's do a... Where is my headlamp? I think I had a just a general headlamp. There we go. Let's wear the headlamp. Turn on said headlamp. Eventually, my other option coming up here, or my other desire, is to work on my tailoring. That might be a completely next episode thing, too. Because I have not worked on my tailoring for quite some time. There we go. Can I butcher this now? You, so you can't disassemble batteries at all. Is that the case? They're just down to their bare level right there. Two spare parts, two medium battery cells. This would give us light battery cells. And at a certain point, I don't think we can do much else with them, right? Medium cells go down to light battery. So eventually, we're just going to have a bunch of light battery. Although, I guess we could we could craft up. Oh, these are all... Are these all cells as opposed to the batteries themselves? What's the, where's my, my large at? I'm confused as to why they're all red. To be honest, I feel like I broke something. I don't recall the, the, um, the batteries being red. Let's move all the high-capacity things down. And then we'll move them into the vehicle to the south. Wait a second to see if they're charging. Ah. 984 on the bottom. Crap, they're not charging. Did I disassemble these? Some free-floating battery charge. This can be reloaded into rechargeable battery cells, but never... Oh god, did I break something horribly? <laughs> I really hope I didn't mess this up too bad. Do we have this turned on right now? Oh, everything's turned off. Did we lose power? I might have ran the battery down completely. That's fine. Let's turn on the fridge, freezer, and don't... Or, sorry, recharger. Okay, I think they're charging up again. One of them was 962. Okay, phew. That freaked me out. I thought that these were broken. I don't know why they're red. I may never find out why they're red, but that's okay for me. So, I wanted to look into crafting the food code. That was the entire reason I disassembled a bunch of stuff. So, if we want to make ourselves, say, a vacuum sealer, we need a micro motor and super glue. Super glue is going to be hard. I don't think we can make super glue, can we? Just kidding. Apparently, we can totally make super glue. Let's batch a bunch of this. Oh, that's funny. We'll just drop it. We don't even care anymore. We'll just drop everything. <laughs> uh, food Co. All right, I'm going to work on the Food Co. for a bit and see if we can actually make this bad boy. Sure enough, we only have one thing left to go. Food processor. Boom, bang, bing. And we're going to have ourselves a Food Co. kitchen buddy. I've never been so excited about a Food Co. kitchen buddy in my life. No, you make it. I don't care if you're dead tired. Make the damn thing. Um, there we go. So I think we can do this. We can remove, we might be too tired to do this. We can remove the kitchen unit and then install our glorious Food Co. kitchen buddy, which is an all-in-one everything ever, I'm pretty sure, right? This has, <laughs> this is going to let you purify water in a vehicle tank. Craft an item that needs one of the kitchen buddy's functions. Um, it'll automatically be selected draws power from the batteries vacuum sealer this is so crazy i don't think we're going to see any new items from here right off the bat but it's just one of those things that's going to help us long term oh that's brilliant and now i believe we're going to be able to go outside and let me turn my headlamp off real quick we can wind up putting a large tank outside with a funnel and it's it should all automatically connect could we do this with what would it take to make a massive tank? Like a two... We don't actually know how to make a, a larger tank than this. So, but we could... Uh, we have some spare tanks on the outside. We could wind up, say, over here. Install... External tank. 
60. We can only do 160. Steel drum. Oh, drum is the word I need to look for. Not tank. Apparently, we don't know how to make any kind of drum whatsoever. Is it a construction item only? No, that wouldn't make sense because construction items don't work with vehicle items, right? So we would actually need a steel drum. So we still could put a tank, though. 60 liter vehicle tank on top of the solar panel or under the solar panel or something. I'll probably put it next to it just just to, for you know continuity purposes. Hey, let's organize stuff. Kaboom. God, that is, <laughs> I'm never going to get over this. This, I, I didn't need any more excuse to play this game. I really didn't. But, you know, every time I turn around, there's something new that is surprising me and uh, making me want to play it a little bit longer. Let's add in one wooden frame to this entire setup. I don't really think it needs to be steel frame all the time. Uh, why can't we add a wooden frame? What are we carrying in our inventory, then? Light wooden frame. Okay, I'll mess around and try to get a frame set up. Um... I think this episode's gone on for a little bit. Let me check the time real quick, and I'll try to get back and figure out if we need to do a bit more. I think I'd like to include a little bit more before we call this one a wrap. So what do I need to do to make a frame? Uh, we need chunks of steel. I'm amazed that we actually are out of steel. I'll have to figure out what else we can break down. I do have like a thousand weapons here that I don't think I've ever touched. So that could be a thing. Why do we have all this stuff in our inventory? Okay, fair enough. So we could break down some of these weapons. These are probably going to net us, uh, you know, some kind of spare metals. We could also break down, completely break down the RV with a sledgehammer. That would break it down into its uh, parent components. Wasn't there another vehicle, uh, what would you call that, item? I doubt we're going to be able to see it right now because it's, it's showing us... When, when you have a tile that's already taken up, like the food coat takes up a space above the frame, I think. So we're not going to be able to see other things that would also take that same space. So we have to get ourselves a frame. Oh, by the way, that's we could just do this. We can go to all around us. Uh, I can't, mostly because I can't remember where my welder is. Inventory welder. Let's go down here and... Oops, just kidding. Having an outfit plug-in here would be kind of cool too. Like you sit in your central air is your central area of your sorting zone, and then if you have a certain outfit you always want to wear and you always want to take certain items with you, you could wind up just hitting a button or two, and then just grabbing all those items. Uh, metal sign of two or more. I kind of forget about that. I'm just going to pull some stuff off the vehicle. We are, I mean, we're pretty much moving away from the RV. We are going to um, move into the military truck at some point whenever I finish doing all of my crazy crafting. I'm addicted to crafting right now. How, how is this doing charge-wise? 24%. I think I'm going to add another battery there at some point too. So we've got ourselves the frame. We have us the frame. Let's install us the frame. Perfecto. And then I can just install tank, 60 liter, install, pretty sure we have a funnel, and there we go. We have a constantly filling tank of water. Let's wait a minute and see if it's going to pick up anything. Oh, I didn't pick up anything yet. Okay, maybe we actually need to wait for a long time. There it is, 0% water, which means it's getting a bit of a trickle. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and go to sleep. Sarah is dead tired. I have had her up all day. Uh, nothing to consider. There's the water up here. Cool. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode. I have had a blast with this one. This has been like reading Rainbow and Mr. Rogers all in one. Everything I ever needed. Uh, <laughs> so much awesome stuff happening. I need to save before I forget. So I'm going to quit and save here in just a minute too. But... Very, very cool. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to continue on. We're going to try to grab, let's see, more food. We need more food. We need to do something with our vehicle, uh, come up with a better solution. Probably break down a lot of the stuff we don't need because I don't want to be carrying around a lot of big components at some point. 
I want to break them down into their raw pieces. Like right here, we've got a lot of these basic, basic items. Um, you know, glass shards. We've got, well, shards is probably not the best example, but transponder circuits here, plastic ba uh, bags that can be broken down to bottles, things like that. I'm going to try to break all those down into their basic component so we can take them with us to craft whatever we might need. Also, I will work on tailoring probably off camera because it might be a bit of a grind. But yeah, thank you all so much for uh, your continued support. I hope you're enjoying the series, and until next time, take care.